Hello everybody, it's 123 Stealth Bomber here, bringing you another tutorial in the Assault Squad Editor. Today I'm going to show you how to do planes taking off and landing. Um, and if you guys remember, I have not done, a, I've kind of done like a similar video, but that was the basics of aircraft on how to do it in direct control mode and all that stuff. This time we're doing it the scripting way. Um... Because obviously this video, you can see it's a longer video. So this is going to take some time. It's easy to learn though. The only reason why it takes so long of a video, because there's a lot to explain. But it's easy to learn if you follow the steps. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, is we're going to give it some tags, obviously. All you need is one tag and that's it. Simple enough. Um, name it anything you want, obviously. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the waypoints. Um, I'm not really going to talk about too much about waypoints. I mean, I do it in almost every single video I do. I mean, videos are, I mean, waypoints are so important. Like, they're done for almost anything you do. So, I mean, obviously, if, if you don't understand how to do waypoints, then watch my waypoints video or watch other videos. Because I'm not going to really talk about them. I'm just going to be setting them up for, the, for this uh, tutorial, though. Uh, I'm just going to add in a delete command right at the end so it deletes the aircraft when it reaches that spot. So when you're satisfied with your waypoints, you can head over to zones. Um, you could do a new circle or a new poly, doesn't matter, but in my case I did new poly. Now, I'll talk more about the zone later on, but this is going to be used for the plane actually taking off. Okay, this is um, this will be the trigger where the plane will actually take off from. Okay. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to some triggers, do some triggering. Um, all you need is to do is two simple triggers. The first one we're gonna do is making the plane actually move. Um, so just doing it by simple waypoints. All you need to do is just go to commands and add. A simple waypoint or actor to waypoint. Okay, so I went to actor to waypoint. I'm gonna give it its tag. Um, its waypoint. It starts at in the approach, and that's if you need to. If you you don't have to, but if you want to, that's it. That's all you need to do for your first one. It's already halfway already. Our second trigger will be making the plane actually take off. So this one's a little bit more complicated than the waypoint uh, trigger. But this one, uh, this one's going to require condition plus command. So you're going to go to condition and look for a near condition. Um, uh, so for I'll talk more about it later on. But pretty much you're going to go to units and select attack. Uh, give it the tag which will be the plane and pretty much what it's saying is this unit will be touching this near to condition which will be the zone so select the zone and then hit OK after that so the unit which is the plane will be hitting the zone and be activating these next commands okay this is what will be triggering these commands that's what a condition means okay um, so the first command we'll be doing is an air state so you go, what you're going to do is you're going to go to selector and give the tag as usual. And uh, first one you're going to do is select ground. And you're just going to check it off. Um, you don't need to change the altitude just yet. And I'll talk to you more about ground. It's kind of hard to explain what it actually is. But when um, it plays out, when we hit start, um, when I hit start, it'll actually, uh, I'll, you know, you'll get what I mean, like later on. But... So you need to add in that. Um, when you do after this, you're gonna have to have to add in a delay. Just give it a small number, um, and then your final one will be another air state. Get the tag once again, and this time you're not gonna check off ground, but you're just gonna give it an altitude of uh, 15. So the air state will it'll kind of like keep it at a ground level, and then in three seconds of a delay. It'll send it up into it, up into the air at an altitude of 15. So now we're all set. We're gonna test it now, just to show you that it works. 
and I'm gonna switch in F3 mode to show you that once it hits this zone, it'll start to um, apply. You see, as you can see, how it moves very fast. That's the grounding. It's still at the ground, but it moves at a very fast pace. And then in three seconds, it then takes off at the 15 altitude. And there you go. Yeah, tell you about it. And now for that short like 10 15 second clip it took like about two or three minutes the script i mean but you know that's how it is so that was pretty cool um so now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna do the complete opposite of taking off which is landing um so what i'm gonna do now what i'm doing right now is is uh i'm deleting everything all the waypoints all the triggers all the zones and i'm going to start off fresh kind of like if i never started it at all um so yeah i'm going to start right from the beginning but instead i'm just going to keep the aircraft uh take the uh, landing is actually is actually the complete opposite of taking off so it's actually the same triggers just the opposite so you'll know what i mean when we start to get to the scripting part so the first thing you're going to do is give it the tag if you didn't already now another thing is you want to go to the properties on the right and you want to switch where it says current change that from wheel to airborne and then where it says altitude you want to change that from zero to you know a number and i just changed that to 15. Um, now we're going to start with the waypoints So after you give it all the tags and properties, I'm going to head over to waypoints. Again, just, you know, set up your waypoints the way you want them. You don't need to be fancy unless if you're actually making it for like a single player mission or something like that. And after that, you're going to add in the zone. Circle or poly will work. And this time I'm going to make the zone. I'm going to make it like about right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the, like the zone like right there. That's where when it reaches that near condition, the aircraft will slowly glide down to the, um, to the ground, to the air, uh, landing strip. And then finally we have the triggers again, all you need is two. And the first trigger we're going to be doing is making the aircraft move along the waypoints. Uh, so all you need to do is just go to commands and add act to the waypoint give it it the tag um give it the waypoint wants to start that and the approach if you need to and then however this time we need to add in one extra command if it's in the air then it, we need to give it an air state so you got to go to your selector um tag as usual um and then just give it the altitude you don't need to check off ground okay you're all set uh, n now we're going to do the triggering for the actual landing itself. Okay, so, um, okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing, just like, um, the takeoff, we need to give it a near condition. So go ahead and select off near and then double click on it and look for units and give it the tag. The unit is obviously the tag, um, the plane, and then the near two will be the zone. Okay, and then you're all set. Uh, your conditions are now set up. Um, your commands, now you're going to add in command. Again, it's going to be the same three, the air state, delay, and then another air state. Uh, so, again, first one will be air state, give it the tag. And this time, you don't need to do ground because it's already in the air. Now, this time you're going to give it a negative altitude. Don't give it a positive altitude because that means, so this, like, this is very important. Make sure you're very wary of this because if you put, say, 15, then it'll go up 15. And you're like, wait, what? What happened? No, if you put negative 15 in my case, then it'll go down 15 altitude. I mean, it's common sense, but some people won't know this. So just make sure you are very wary of the negative, okay? Um you know, negative is obviously down and positive is up. But just make sure you guys know this, okay? Um, if you want to go down an elevation of altitude, you got to put a negative in front of it, okay? Um, so when you're done with the air state, you're going to go to add your delay. And again, just make it a small number. I put two in my case. And then finally, for our last command, will be another air state. 
Uh, and then for your final time, we're going to give it the grounding. You don't need to change the altitude because it's already at zero by this point. Just check off ground and you're all set. So as you can see from the takeoff and the landing, they're just the complete opposite. Instead of going from zero to 15, it'll be going from 15 to zero. Okay, see? Now, as you could see, there you go. Lands perfectly. You can even see the landing gear actually prepare as it's about to land, which is really cool. I like how it actually does that. So, yeah, that's really about it. You guys can use this for, like, pretty much anything for, like, aesthetic features or really cool features of a single-player mission or something like that. Okay, so, um, we got a couple more, like, we got a few more um, seconds here. And I really want to just uh, explain to you guys about the requests. I know you guys have been talking about requests and you guys have been asking me for them, so don't worry. I had this whole entire week off to myself, and I wanted to catch up on the requests. So this whole entire week, I'll be posting many people's requests. So for the people who have been waiting, just keep waiting a little bit more. It's going to be posted up either tomorrow or these next couple of days ahead. Um, I want to get catch up and you know start reposting all these people's requests. So guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked it and favored it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, you know, post it on my channel or, you know, whatever. But I will see you guys next time.